Originally, when I first heard about the selfie, I thought this is probably the most narcissistic thing I've seen on the internet in the last couple of months. And I, was, I wasn't surprised that it caught fire. I knew people were going to be interested in, in taking photos and putting them online and showing them to their friends. I think selfies are have definitely become like a huge thing, especially with the new song, um, Let Me Take a Selfie. But I don't, I'm like iffy about them. I actually really like the selfie. Um, I think it's um, kind of a fun thing that allows people to like post pictures of themselves and kind of show off who they are. I think social media definitely influences uh, my definition of beauty just because, I mean, looking through your feed, you typically don't see like ugly pictures of anyone that everyone posts like they're, you know, looking their best. And there's a couple funny faces, but you know, that's intentional. So um, it just kind of puts the pressure like they look this good, so everyone else should look as good, like me and myself should look that good kind of thing. Um, I think that social media helps to um kind of solidify what beauty is. I think that um, you go onto social media pages, like uh, like models, uh, social media, big social medias, like um, magazines and stuff that are posting these pictures of uh, what they consider like beautiful, which is like that just really not what I <laughs> envision as like uh, the only thing that's beautiful. Um, so I think that it's just continuously reinforced uh, that kind of idea of what beauty is. Definitely, I think if someone's going to comment on my photo and say, so beautiful today, look at you, you know, you're so cute, it's definitely gonna boost my confidence because then that means that somebody else thinks I'm beautiful besides my mom and my dad. So, you know, it definitely makes me really happy when other people are saying, you know, you look great today, your hair looks great your outfit, you know, you look confident today. I think that it has a more direct effect on women, but I think I think men internalize um, the definition of beauty just as much, if not more than women, because there's, it, because in when I think of like beauty in men, I think of also like the issue of masculinity and like being masculine and what makes you attractive as a male. I don't know based off like actual statistics, but I definitely, in my opinion, think that it affects women more just because uh, women tend to care more about like their self image and uh, compare themselves to a lot of other women. Whereas guys, like even from experience with my newsfeed, there's not really, you know, selfies of guys or um, guys like outfit of the day or something like that. So I think it definitely has much more of an effect on women. So initially I, totally stood behind the idea that self-esteem issues were only designated towards women. I thought because our society is projecting a specific image of the perfect flaw, like flawless woman, that only women had the ability to have self-esteem issues. Um, and then I came to college and I noticed that there are also men that have body image issues and that it is a thing that it's a silent issue. No one's really talking about men and the problems that they have with their image. I think college campuses should or can um, implement programs that just start a discussion um, just realizing that there are different definitions of beauty, different standards, and there's not one mold or one size or one look that everyone has to be. And showing that, you know, as, as a female on campus, like knowing that other females feel the same way, have the same pressures, and actually seeing it rather than like, oh, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. Seeing that you're not alone, well, just that alone will have a strong impact on uh, college campuses. So I, I think that college, at least the university that I attend, does a great, it, it does a, a decent job at um, like reinforcing that like everyone is beautiful. Like there's there's no one stereotype or anything that fits what defines beauty, and it, it just really is kind of what you make of it. Um, but I think that there's definitely a lot more that you can do, um, just like even like passive programming on just you know. Um, like everyone is beautiful if, if you're confident you're beautiful like it doesn't matter what shape size color sexual orientation anything you are like is as long as you're being you like that's beautiful and I agree with you.
So I definitely think that as students are transitioning from out of high school into college, that's the best time to interact with them when they're incoming freshmen. They're open to all of these ideas and participating in activities, so why not insert something about body image and confidence? Why not insert something that will make them feel comfortable being on this campus, walking around with their head held high instead of feeling insecure about who they are?